Namaste everyone and thank you so much for joining me in this beautiful outdoor class at the beach. I hope you are also experiencing this beautiful ocean behind me. In this class we'll focus on the strength and flexibility of the entire body. So this is a full body class which is perfect for all levels. So whether you are a beginner or if you are an advanced yogi, this is for you. I am offering different modifications so whenever you need to modify, you are welcome to do so. All you need is your yoga mat and you might need two yoga blocks with you and that's pretty much everything. So let's roll up the mat, get on the mat, enjoy the beauty of the ocean and let's get started. So today we'll start in a kneeling position from the back of the mat. So if you can, bring your knees together, sit on the heels. Keep your spine straight, roll the shoulders down and back. Rest the hands down on the knees. Close your eyes. Take a moment to arrive in the present moment. Let go of any tension from any part of the body. Fully become aware of this present moment. Fully become aware of your physical body. And now slowly become aware of your breath. Watching the breath going in and out through the nose. Allow the breath to flow on its own. And then begin to deepen the breath. Allow the breath to go a little deeper than the natural breathing. Feeling the expansion with each inhale and a complete release with each exhale. Deep breath in through the nose and deep exhale. Again, deep breath in and completely release. One more deep breath in. Exhale. Now slowly bringing the chin into the chest and gently open the eyes and slowly lift the head and look up. So we'll continue from this kneeling position. As you inhale, open the chest, look forward. And as you exhale, round and contract your back. Inhale, open, warming up the spine. Exhale, round and contract. Inhale, open. Exhale, reverse. Two more. Inhale, open. Exhale. And one more. Inhale. Exhale. Then inhale, come back to a neutral spine. From here, raise your arms up, interlace the fingers and stretch your arms. And then stretch your entire body. Feel the stretch in the shoulders, in the sides of the body. Inhale, keep stretching as you exhale, lean to the right side. Breathe into the left side of the body. If you can, move the hips to the left side. So next to the heels, feeling a deep stretch in the entire left side. Keep the left shoulder up and your chest open. Breathe. Hold it here and with next inhale coming back to center, stretch up and exhale, lean to the left side, breathing into the right side. If you can move the hips to the right side, next to the heels, feeling a deep stretch in the entire right side. Hold. And come back to center. Again, inhale, stretch up in the center. And as you exhale, release the hands. Interlace the fingers behind your hips. With next, inhale, stretch your arms back. And as you exhale, bend forward. So as deep as you can go, keep the hips over the heels. Don't lift the hips up. Hips back, stretch the shoulders. So lift your arms up as much as you can. Feel the stretch in the shoulders. Hold the stretch. 
and exhale slowly come back up in the center and then release the hands move the shoulders up and back to release and relax and from here we'll come up on the knees in a kneeling position so tabletop palms under the shoulders knees in line with the hips open the knees hip width apart we'll start with cat and cow so inhale drop the belly lift the chest exhale round and contract the back inhale up exhale reverse three more inhale up exhale two more inhale up exhale and one more inhale up exhale reverse and come back to a neutral spine from here lift the right leg up flex your right foot and kick your right leg higher as much as you can at the same time lift the chest exhale round the back bring the knee to the nose inhale up exhale three more inhale up exhale inhale higher exhale one more inhale up exhale now inhale up this time hold you can stay here or if you can move back with the left hand to catch your right ankle just hold the binding and stay here or if you can kick a little more higher with the right heel to lift the chest open the chest hold creating the arch in the spine pushing into the hand with the right ankle one more breath and slowly release don't lower the leg extend the right leg back and extend the left hand forward hold it here finding an extension in the entire spine flex your right foot don't go too high with the right leg push with the right heel back left fingertips forward hold for one more breath good from here release the left hand down again bring the right knee to the chest round the back hold for five four three two and one release and come back good on the other side lift the left leg up kick higher lift the chest exhale knee to nose one inhale up exhale two inhale up three up four one more up and five now up this time stay here you can hold if this is too much already for you or move back with the right hand try to catch your ankle get the binding or kick up to lift the heart lift the chest find the balance i know it's a little bit challenging but this is why we are here for right challenge yourself a little bit try to push yourself a little bit more and hold and slowly release don't lower the leg extend the left leg back right and forward flex the left foot so it's not high your left leg is not too high keeping the balance hold it here engage the core and release the right hand first then bring the left knee to the nose round the back and hold for five four three two and one release extend the back and release the leg good from here we'll move in downward dog so tuck the toes under lift the hips higher now this is the first downward dog for today you might be experiencing tightness in the hamstring and that's fine you can keep the knees bent and start to walk the knees to stretch the hamstrings keeping the spine lengthened so that's more important don't round the back like this push the floor and lengthen the spine continue to breathe and keep moving the knees and with next exhale slowly lower the knees all the way down and coming back to tabletop we'll do five times downward dog to tabletop so press the palms inhale lift up exhale lower inhale lift up exhale lower three more inhale lift up exhale lower inhale lift up exhale 
and last one inhale lift up exhale lower the knees back to tabletop from here come up on the knees keep the toes tucked under grab your waist with your both hands now with next inhale you will step your right foot forward so maintain a 90 degree with the right knee keeping the hip square now inhale center if this is already enough you can stay here or if you can try to with exhale bend the knee and try to drop the hips lower inhale come up exhale again lower three more inhale up exhale inhale up exhale and one more inhale up exhale lower this time we'll stay here so lower the hips as much as you can if this is too much you can also place the hands by the sides to just find the balance or you can also stay slightly backwards so whatever feels good stay here but if you want just challenge yourself you can also release the left toes back breathe into the stretch one more and with next inhale slowly release we'll extend the right leg so see if you can without using the hands extend the right leg forward so toes up right knee straight your left knee is over the left hip find the balance okay hands are still on the waist now see if you can pull the toes in for a deep stretch in the right hamstring also work a little bit with the balance here you can also tuck the left toes for more stability then inhale center if this is maximum stay or if you can with exhale just see if you can bend forward so go as far as you can into the stretch so now you need to understand where your maximum is so keeping that in mind keeping respecting the body's limit hold wherever your maximum is feel the stretch in the right hamstring hold it here and slowly now you can release the hands keeping the left hand inside as you inhale open the right hand and open the chest to the right side so right hand is reaching up turning and twisting the chest to the right side and breathe keep pulling the right toes in so you're not losing the stretch here keep breathing and now from here you will release the right hand again bend the right knee keeping the left hand inside as you inhale again lift the right hand up and twist the chest open to the right side hold for one more breath and then slowly you will move the right hand back bend your left knee and try to catch your left ankle if this is not happening just bend the knee okay just feel the stretch in the left quads if you can then catch your ankle and inhale find an extension and as you exhale try to pull the heel more in for a deep stretch in the left quads at the same time keep turning the chest to the right side hold breathing into the stretch lowering the hips more keep a nice smile on your face so that it looks like that you're enjoying the stretch you're not stressing your body continue to breathe deeply and slowly release and release the right hand back and then slowly release the right leg back as well from here tuck the toes under and lift the hips back up downward dog and again start to walk the knees relax the hips relax the head lengthen the spine and with exhale again lower the knees down and come back up on the knees okay now on the other side so again grab your waist this time bring the left foot forward first maintaining a 90 degree then inhale center and as you exhale bend the knee and lower the hips again inhale up exhale lower inhale up exhale lower two more inhale up exhale one more inhale up exhale now find your maximum hold it here if you need to use the hands to find more support you can also move slightly back if your knee is crossing the ankle release the right toes back 
feel the stretch keep dropping the hips a little more low or adjust if you need to you can also use two blocks by the sides just to find more stability so you are not over stretching yourself that's also very important to understand so respect your body hold where it feels good one more breath and now from here we'll slowly see if you can without using the hands slowly come up extend the left leg forward this time so you might need to find the stability if you are trying with me try to find the balance pull the kneecap up left toes up you can also tuck the right toes to find more stability if you need to you can use your hands that's completely okay actively pull the toes in to feel the stretch option to stay here with inhale or exhale see if you can hinge from the hips and bend forward keep reaching forward with the crown of the head hold at your maximum no need to force i'm also struggling with the balance a little bit so it's fine we're all in this together one more deep breath and then slowly release the hands and now we'll keep the right hand inside as you inhale lift the left hand up and open the chest to the left side reaching up with the left hand keep pulling the left toes in so you are experiencing the stretch and you're not losing the stretch breathe and slowly release the hand and now we'll bend the left knee again keeping the right hand inside again inhale lift the left hand up open the chest to the left side keep turning with the upper body with the thoracic spine now see if you can bend the right knee this time and try to catch your right ankle with the left hand so wherever your maximum is just stay there if you cannot get the get the binding just bend the knee if you can then just hold if you can and try to pull it in at the same time drop the hips more low for a deep stretch in the right quads keep turning the chest to the left side and keep breathing into the space one more inhale and exhale pull the heel more in and slowly release release both hands and slowly extend and step back back to a tabletop position from here let's come up on the knees grab your waist with your both hands pull the elbows more in tuck the toes if you want to find more stability or you can release the toes back we'll do camel preparation now so now as you inhale lengthen the spine open the chest and as you exhale try to arch back lift the heart maybe drop the head back or just keep looking up don't go all the way in pulling the shoulder blades more in towards each other inhale and as you exhale bring the chin into the chest and slowly lower the hips all the way down so here you have option to keep the toes tucked under or release the toes back again inhale come up lengthen the spine exhale arch back then bring the chin into the chest and exhale lower all the way down do it three more times inhale lengthen the spine lift the chest exhale arch back inhale slowly come back and exhale lower the hips let's do two more inhale lengthen up exhale slowly come back up and exhale lower the hips all the way down one more time inhale up lengthen the spine exhale arch back and slowly bring the chin in and lower the hips all the way down 
from here bring the knees together big toes together allow the back to round bring the forehead close to the knees drop your head all the way down extend the hands by the sides palms facing up and then release your head all the way down so allowing the back to round this time if your head is not touching you can place a block under your head and just rest your head down Allowing the breath to slow down now, letting go of any tension, coming back to the natural rhythm of the breath. Feel the energy moving after all this movement that we did today in this class. Allow yourself to just experience this sensations, any changes that you are experiencing right now. slow down your heart rate and now with the next inhale slowly come back up in a seated position where you rest your hands on your thighs keep your eyes closed and allow the legs to go straight on the mat and with next inhale reach your arms up lengthen the spine and as you exhale bend forward for paschimottanasana now allow the spine to be lengthened so don't round the back don't force yourself to go into the stretch you can rest your hands on your shin or on your thighs keep the spine straight as you inhale and exhale bend forward so slow down everything wherever you are it's fine this is exactly where you need to be right now so surrender completely and with next inhale slowly come up and release the hands and from here we lay down so lay on the mat hug the right knee into the chest and move the right knee to the left side of the mat for a gentle spinal twist extend the right hand on the right side just breathe into the right side of the body releasing any tension completely let go fully relax fully arrive just push to a certain limit but make sure it's not too much and slowly come back up extend the right leg forward bend the left knee and then move the left knee to the right side extend the left hand to the left side completely relax and release the body breathing into the left side of the body completely let go of any tension and slowly come back up and allow your entire body to just relax in shavasana this time so extend the legs wider extend the arms up palms facing up relax the shoulders release the head close your eyes and surrender completely allowing your entire body to just melt on the mat in shavasan just allow the body to breathe on its own and stay there for next few minutes or as long as you need Thank you very much for practicing with me. I hope you're also experiencing a sense of calm but at the same time feeling more powerful. I wish you a beautiful day ahead with lots of love, lots of positivity, lots of light and lots of energy. I'll see you in the next class. Namaste.